welcome to Cartoon Panda. The tale of the beloved panda who became the Dragon Warrior is one that was launched in 2008 and has soon grown to be a grand franchise. With parts 1 and 3 and soon to be released part 4, this action filled story definitely has something for everyone. If you're yet to catch up on the entire story, we got you. Here's everything that happened so far. In the first film, Master Ugwe, the venerable turtle, founder of Kung Fu, prepares to select the legendary Dragon Warrior. To the shock of all, especially Tigress, who was sure to be the chosen one, the honor goes to Poe, a clumsy panda who loves kung fu, but lacks skill. In the Valley of Peace, Poe helped his father at their beloved noodle shop. Dreaming of an adventure beyond, he'd often glaze up at the Jade Palace in all, home of the legendary Furious Five, Tigress, fierce yet lonely, clever monkey, graceful crane wise viper and funny mantis they trained under grizzled red panda shifu who still grieved the betrayal of his adopted son tai long long ago but how could he respected elder turtle master Ugwe sensed dark winds rising tai long was going to break free from his prison hunting the fabled dragon scroll which is said to grant limitless power a hero must be chosen to defend their valley, but in the meantime, Shifu sends Zhang to warn the guards of what is to come. At the tournament where the selection was to occur, Poe arrived late. He clumsily stumbled down towards his idols to get a glimpse of them, but fate intervened. In the chaos that ensued, it looked like Poe had fallen from the sky in a fireball. Through Ugwe's insight, this unlikely panda has then proclaimed the savior they needed. Though doubted by masters and villagers alike, Poe befriended his teachers through persistence, humor, and of course his noodle skill. As Tai Lung's shadow loomed near, could Poe find the inner strength in time? Through toil and fellowship, our panda refused to give in to doubts. His destiny was just the beginning, and the valley would need all its protectors united against the coming storm. Meanwhile, at the icy prison, Zhang's warnings went unheeded. Tai Lung's wrath was unleashed as he cut down guards, sending Zhang fleeing. The sage Ugwe sensed Tai Lung's escape, knowing even darker days were coming. Shifu informed the villagers as Ugwe assured him Poe was their hope, but ascending to the heavens in a flurry of pink blossoms, Ugwe left Shifu with a promise to believe. Doubting Poe, Shifu revealed Tai Lung hunted the scroll that would grant ultimate power. Terrified, Poe tries to run, but Shifu stops him. The panda broke, leaving Shifu to admit no skill to train a dragon warrior. Overhearing, Tigress led the five to confront Tai Lung alone. Shifu discovered Poe's talent by using food as motivation, coupled with innovative kung fu techniques. But Tai Lung defeated the masters except for Crane, who fled with fallen comrades. At the palace, Shifu revives them as Po finally reads the scroll and finds out it's empty. Nothing but a reflective surface. Seeing the villagers fear, Po and the masters evacuated while Shifu stood against Tai Lung. But Mr. Ping reassured his son that belief made things special. Through confusing chaos, Po battled Tai Lung blow for blow, finally acquiring the empty scroll. Tai Lung's rage turned on Po. There's no secret ingredient. It's just you. Po explained to Tai Lung. Furious, Tai Lung attacked once more. However, Po responded with a devastating counterattack, displaying a mastery unlike anything Tai Lung had seen. Eventually, an exhausted Tai Lung fell prey to the Wuxi finger hole. With a bend of his pinky and a cry of skadoosh, Po unleashed its golden shockwave. The Furious Five soon returned with villagers. Upon finding Po victorious but dazed, Mr. Ping proudly declared the panda warrior was his son. The two embraced joyfully. Impressed by Po's valor, Tigress then led the five in accepting him as a true kung fu master. Though overjoyed, Po remembered Shifu's critical injury and hurried back to the palace. Determined to help the fallen master, upon finding him exhausted but fine, the two then share a meal. Po remained in the Jade Palace. Po is respected as the dragon warrior at last. In the second film, Kung Fu Panda 2, a new threat arises in Lord Shen, a vengeful peacock once banished for his violent machination. Shen sends his wolf army to pillage villages. During the battle, 
memory surface, revealing Poe's panda origins, and that Shen orchestrated the destruction of his village long ago. In a shiny city built by peacocks, Lord Shen uncovered a terrible weapon in fireworks, which were invented for peaceful purposes. His obsession led to a foretelling. A warrior of black and white would stop his dark path. Shen deduced pandas posed as a threat, and led his wolf army in a horrific genocide, which left the panda village in tatters. In the present day in the Valley of Peace, Poe's skills grew steadily alongside the Furious Five, but inner peace eluded the Great Dragon Warrior. Meanwhile, Shen's wolves continue raiding villages for cannons to conquer all of China. When they intercepted another attack, a strange symbol stirred memories in Poe of his long-lost mother. His father, Mr. Ping, then told of finding Poe as a baby, adopting the cub when it was clear he was an orphan. Sent to investigate the fall of a region of the city of Gongmen, Master Rhino, Poe learned his true past in Gongmen. There, Shen held the city and its regents, Ox and Crocs, captive, but the soothsayer's words from the past still haunted him. Reaching the city, Poe and the Five freed the master, but without Rhino, they refused help, believing Kung Fu dead. Devising a plan, the heroes pretended to surrender, while secretly switching Master Mantis with a dummy. What dangers would they face against Shen's dreadful cannons? And could Poe find the peace to fulfill the prophecy? Meanwhile, within Shen's palace walls, Mantis stealthily freed his fellow masters. Their prototype cannon met its end. Yet Poe noticed the same symbol that previously sparked something in his memory on Shen. Distracted, he allows Shen to escape amid collapsing towers. Demanding the truth, Tigress asks Poe to tell her what's going on. Poe tells her about the symbol and how he thinks Shen is involved with his parents. She fears his lack of focus could prove fatal. The five then leave Poe behind to blow up Shen's factory themselves. But Poe followed, confronting Shen and spoiling their plan. The five get captured and Shen tells Poe devastating lies. Under Shen's lies that his parents hated him, a wounded Poe floated on a river after being shot by a cannon. The soothsayer finds and rescues him, revealing the genocide which forged his path. Finding inner solace, Poe's mind cleared. His papa defended them. As mother drew off Shen, so her baby might live. Renewed, he returned to the city under siege. Bring his friends, Poe joined the stand with Shifu and his comrades to stop Shen's forces headed for the harbor. One on one, Poe fought against Shen. With his new insight, Poe conquers the sinister Shen. However, in a cliffhanger, Poe discovers his father may still live, leaving more questions ahead. The third movie sees Poe transitioning from student to teacher and trying to conquer a supernatural villain who seems to get stronger after each battle. In the mystical spirit realm, Grandmaster Ugwe clashes against General Kai, a yak warrior who had bested all others. Killing Ugwe's chi, Kai receives a warning that there's someone destined to defeat him. Returning to their mortal plane, Kai's new powers have multiplied. Meanwhile, Master Shifu has stepped back to name Po his successor. Yet teaching has proved a huge challenge for Po, and the Furious Five have gotten injured in the process. Shifu advised just being himself, as opposed to trying to be like Shifu. Dejected, Po returns home. There's a surprise there, though. His fatherly Shank, drawn by signs his son survived the raid from the past. The bond shone clear, and Mr. Ping felt jealous of Lee's bond with his adopted son. Called to action against Kai's Jade Legions, the group learns of his past. How Ugwe and Kai knew friendship until the Yak took Chi for power alone. Banished, Kai has returned to claim the realm. Lee offered to teach Po about Chi in secret panda lands, while Shifu and the Five defended the valley from evil's thrall. Mr. Ping goes along with them to put some distance between Po and Lee, but is discovered quickly. At the village, Lee refuses to teach any lessons till Po embraces calm ways as any true panda should. What healing might they harness to counter the specter of Kai? Yet Kai's plague knew no bounds, stealing the Chi of all who knew Kung Fu, and destroying destroying the Jade Palace. Only Tigress escaped its grasp to find Poe, sharing the awful news. Demanding answers, Poe learned Lee lied to keep him safe and away from danger. He had no plans of teaching him Chi, 
Hurt by his father's deceit, he trains alone to face Kai's wrath and ignores Tigris' pleas to not do it alone. Meanwhile, Ping consoles the grieving Lee and tells him Po would eventually understand. During practice, their argument turned physical. Po revealed that he was hoping to subdue Kai through the Wuxi grip, yet Tigris warned that that's impossible against Kai and his legion. At last, accepting his need for extra help, Po saw where he had errors as a teacher before. The pandas and Ping sought lessons from Po, using life's rhythms and kung fu flow. Reconciling with Lee, they were all ready for battle. Arriving, Kai's ranks posed a grim threat until Poe's students rose to distract the villain, long enough for Poe to try to banish him. But the spirit foe eluded such force, viciously attacking Poe instead. Grabbing Kai, Poe sacrificed himself to save the others. As Lee led them in giving their chi to empower Poe across the world, Poe used this gift to undo the tyrant at last. In Realms Beyond, Uguay named Poe successor and deliverer of staff, returning in glory. At the restored power, Alice, Poe got it all to learn martial ways and cheese mysteries, defending peace throughout their lands. Now, a new movie is soon to be released, Kung Fu Panda 4. A new chapter is set to begin as the Dragon Warrior seeks his successor, but a new danger is emerging from the shadowy places. The battle draws near. What's your favorite Kung Fu Panda movie? Tell us in the comments. Stand back. I'm gonna kick my butt.